Hi then, welcome to another Block Handy tutorial on how to add a beautiful looking and an SEO optimized blog to your existing website. My name is Uwe, I'm the founder of Block Handy, and today we're looking at adding a blog to your GetResponse website. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so now I'm in my GetResponse account. The first important thing is GetResponse has landing pages and websites. In this tutorial, we will look at websites. If you click here on tools, you can see they have a website builder and they have a landing page builder. The website builder seems to be a bit more advanced. There's more functionality and the block handy block just works better with it. If you want to integrate block handy into a landing page on GetResponse, just let me know about it and I'm happy to assist you there as well. All right, let's click on website builder. Great. So let's click on create website. You can use the AI tool or you can import a website soon, but let's click on a template and let's just pick this template, use template. All right, so that's our website. And let's say we want a separate page for the blog. So you click on manage pages and on add page. And then you have to select what sort of page you want to add. Probably just a plank page. Perfect. All right. So now we have a plank page. We rename it from new page to blog. Now it's also in the menu up here. Okay, great. So here in section one, that's the place where we want to add our blog. So let's just say here we click on add elements and then we can drag and drop a text there. We could just do a title and we call it my blog and make it centered. And underneath that, we will now click again on add element and we will take a custom code and just drop it underneath it. Insert custom code. So this is where we have to click on. And now on the right hand side, you see your custom code area. And this is where we have to put the block handy code. So let's go to block handy and under code snippet, copy the first code and pop it in here. And then go back to block handy, copy the second code and pop it in here. And that's it. You won't see it in the preview. It's just empty here, but when you click on connect domain and we just call it our new website and we click on publish. Perfect. So that's our new website. Let's click here on the URL of the website. Okay, perfect. So that's a home page. Here's the blog page. Let's click on it. Great. The blog is loading. There are a few things you want to do next. You want to copy paste from the URL bar, the URL of this blog page and you want to go to block handy, to settings and to drop it here in the block URL section and just click on save all changes. And since we're in the settings now, I can quickly show you how to change the design of your blog. Just click on layout and here we have in total nine different designs right now. Let's say pop grid and as you click on that switch, your blog will automatically change. So let's just refresh this page and you can see here your blog changed already. If you want to adjust any of the colors or any of the look and feel of your blog, for example, this headline in GetResponse, this should be a larger headline. It seems the headline ones are not as big as they should be. So you can just go to Blog Handy and again under settings and layout, you go all the way down to the custom CSS and you can write any custom CSS you want here in order to make your blog look more the way you want it to look, right? So let me just give you an example of that here. So I changed the font size to 25 pixels and the line height, I click on save all changes. And once again, if I refresh this page now, you can already see the increased font size. If you don't feel comfortable changing the CSS code in your Block Handy account, just reach out to us and we're always happy to fully customize your design free of charge. 
Thanks a lot for listening. And if you've got any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Happy blocking and bye bye for now.